Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellows with Jesus Christ today. Today is December 15th, 2022, Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is Faith in Action. The scripture is from Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 13. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in affliction. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Pursue hospitality to strangers. Amen. Another scripture is from Luke 3.11. John answered, Anyone who has two shirts should share with the one who has none, and anyone who has Food should do the same. Amen. Today's story is from Navemani, who lives in India. My friend and I sat under a tree during our lunch break. As we began to open our lunch boxes, we noticed a girl from our class sitting under another tree without anything to eat. So we went and shared our lunches with her. The following day, we noticed that she didn't have food again. We asked her why, and she told us that her mother was sick with typhoid and could not make lunch for her. For the next few days, my friend insisted that we share our food. My friend's de determination to share her food reminded me of Jesus feeding the 5,000 in the Gospel of John when Jesus blessed a young boy's lunch so that he could feed the crowd. When others expressed doubts that everyone could be fed, Andrew, Andrew went among the crowd to see what food was available. Small acts made a tremendous difference that day. In a similar way, my friend saw a need and acted with compassion and love. In a world where acts of selfless love are rare, followers of Jesus are called to put the interests of others above our own. The Christian life is a life of faith and works. If we are followers of Christ, we must show our faith in action by reaching out to those who are in need. Amen. What do you have? I you have two of anything that you can share with others, or you are only one that you have you have to use for yourself we are many things more than one how many times and how much we share ours with others do we need i mean do we see anyone who needs our resources do we see anyone who need god's help and God's works in their lives. Little First Church family, God calls us to share ours to, with others. Whatever we have resources, everything, is com everything comes from God, and we are the stewards to use that, not only for us, our families, but also the people in need. It is not easy to find, maybe, the person or 
sometimes we ignore. I hope you and I try to share God's blessings, our resources that we have, that God have given us. God has given us, because someone, someone's life can be changed by our sharing. Our sharing. Church family, look at the compassion and love. The person, the writer, did with the person's friend. The two young students shared their lunch with the classmate, who didn't bring, couldn't bring her lunch. There are many people in the world who don't have. Food to eat, cloth to wear, especially in this season of winter. There are many people who need the warm place or jackets, socks, hats, mittens. Please join us, our ministry for collection for socks, mitts, and hat for. The homeless, please join us. Our food pantry ministry to give out the food to those in need. We can share ours through the church ministry, and also please try to find people or the person who you can help with your resources. This is the season of Christmas. An advent. Your sharing can be the gifts to the person, the Christmas gifts, God's love and grace to the person or people. Let's share God's love and grace through our resources by giving out ours to God. Let us pray. Love God, help us to be mindful of those who are oppressed and marginalized in our society. Grant us the kindness and courage to love them as Christ loves us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day today, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, and thank you. Bye.